The Body Shop Training Facility held their third annual Wadtoberfest at their new training facility in West Kelowna on Saturday. The event is a CrossFit competition where competitors perform workout challenges for points, but this year they are raising money for one of their own. Cole Bernier has done CrossFit for a number of years, but an accident in September took him out of this year's competition. Just over seven weeks ago, um, on the job, he was on a building site um, in West Bank, and some trusses um, that were loaded with about 70 sheets of plywood on top of them um, came down onto Cole, and um, he was basically folded in half. His back was broken, two vertebrae were broken, and, um, and that's sort of where he folded and, and was pinned under that load for about 25 minutes. Money raised during the competition will go towards Cole and his family to help cover the costs associated with the recovery process. Part of the proceeds of registration um, are going towards Cole. So the shirts and the, and the wristbands and the underwear all have Bernay Strong on them and the proceeds from all that are going to Cole. The CrossFit community has rallied around Cole since his accident. The CrossFit community is like my family. Like they, it blows my mind all the support that's been uh, been given and all the messages on social media and all the fundraising and, and all that stuff. Like all the like, so many people have been down to visit from Kelowna. Like just made the drive. It's it's it means so much. It's uh, you know it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a very easy journey without all the support. Since Cole's been in the hospital, um, he's actually had people coming in to visit him that he's never met before. Um, people that just knew of him through CrossFit, just coming in to hang out and, and you know bring some normalcy to his environment. The fighting spirit Cole had before his accident remains today and he's determined to work towards recovery. Um, spinal cord injuries are very complicated um, and he currently doesn't have any movement or sensation below the waist but He's, uh, he's really optimistic and determined that he's going to be back on his feet again one day. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson.